If you want to get the Rabi airdrop and maximize how much you can earn by minting the Rabi Genesis NFT, then follow along with this video step by step. In this video, I'm going to cover Rabi, a wallet and desktop app that will not only keep your crypto safe, but also award you with an airdrop for using its platform. Let's get started. So what is Rabi? Rabi is a wallet that has a web extension and a desktop app that has 129 different blockchains integrated in their platform. And best of all, if you already have a MetaMask wallet, you don't actually have to create an entire new wallet. Now, I'm not gonna go into all the details on what the Rabi platform is. The purpose of this video is to show you how to set up your Rabi wallet and what I'm doing to qualify for the Rabi airdrop and how you can earn extra rewards and more of the Rabi token airdrop by doing things like signing up using the referral code in the description below. So let's check out Rabi. Okay, so here is the Rabi wallet homepage and the first thing you wanna do is download it for Chrome as an extension. Yes, add the extension. And once it's added, you wanna pin it up to the top to make your life easier to access. You can click on it and this is what will pop up. Click next. It's self-custodial, private keys are stored locally with sole access to you, get started. And then you're going to import my MetaMask account. However, if you wanna create just a brand new Rabi wallet, you can create a new seed phrase here and enter a new password. So for the purpose of this video, I'll create one and you can read all these things, but essentially these are ways to safeguard your seed phrase. You get your seed phrase here. Uh, of course, you want to write this down or keep this somewhere offline. That way, if you get hacked, someone can't have access to it. Just say, I've saved. And then this will pop up. Now, if you went back and instead of clicking create a new seed phrase and you added your MetaMask wallet, your MetaMask wallet addresses would appear here. And then you can just add the ones that you decide. And just like that, it will add them over to your Rabi wallet. And then everything will pop up here. Now I'm going to switch over to my current wallet. That way I can go ahead and show you guys. Okay, next you're going to head over to the Rabi points button here once you click into it. And here's your chance. If you didn't click the link with the description below, here's your last chance to enter the referral code. Now check this out here because if you imported your MetaMask wallet and there's previous swaps made, there's a chance that you earn more Rabi points. I don't know exactly how much you earn because it's based off of your trading volume within MetaMask. But for me, I earn like 700 points. And then here's your last chance to enter the referral code, Kai Specter. if you didn't click on the link, that way you can claim and hit your additional points. Right, it'll just ask you here to sign and create, and then you will claim your Rabi points. Click confirm. And so now you've created your Rabi wallet and claimed your first points. And with this, you should already qualify for the Rabi wallet airdrop, but I'm gonna show you the next thing that I did, which is claim the badge. So the next thing you wanna do is go over to more, and here you'll see where you can claim a Rabi badge. So you're going to click into that and it'll say claim Rabi badge four and it says you haven't activated your claim code for this address. So you're gonna click on this button that says learn more on DBank. And here you will see where it says mint and you need to sign in using your Rabi wallet. And you're gonna sign into DBank, hit connect and now you're connected. So the next thing you gotta do is verify your address. So you hit verify, do the recapture, click on all the buses and then you'll sign in and create. Now, before you can proceed on this, you're gonna need to have a net worth of over $10 before you can officially mint the badge. However, if you've already imported your MetaMask wallet onto here, you probably have a net worth of over $10. So what will happen is, so I'm gonna jump over into my other wallet. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like on a different wallet that I've actually used. That way you can get a good idea of what it'll look like. So you click claim badge. And as you can see how it changed, but you can see claim success. And what happens is, is you enter this claim code here and this will say hit claim and you just click the claim button and then you'll get this claim success and you'll get your Rabi wallet badge. And so once you have your Rabi wallet badge, there's only a few more things that you can do. 
like uh, earn Rabi points. And here you can refer new users, uh, but one of the easy things to do is swap in Rabi. And you can earn this every single day. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you a hack that you can do every single day, which is make a small swap. And if you do it, like for me, I'm doing it on the polygon between Matic and Ratmatic, Wmatic, it makes gas fees either zero or so small that it's non-existent. And so you can do it as simple as 0 0.01, hit confirm and swap. Hit sign and create, confirm. Now there's usually some time delay between this. As you saw, I've done this a few times. Um, it says that it's been completed. Let's see if it will go through. It hasn't gone through, but we'll ha what will happen is, see how this Rabi points here is empty? Um, it'll fill up and go purple. I'm gonna do it here as well. That way I can continue earning points on both of my wallets. Sign, hopefully the other one's done now. Let's see how it's lit up. And so once it's lit up, you just click on it and you can claim your 10 points. And so you can do this once a day and earn 10 points a day just by doing that. The next thing that you can do, which I think is going to be pretty important for this airdrop, is to mint the Rabi Genesis NFT. Here's how. So we're gonna go back to the Rabi Wallet homepage. This time you're going to download the desktop version of Rabi. You can select the Mac or the Windows. For me, it's the Windows. Now I imagine you know how to download a desktop app, so I'm not gonna go through that process. I will jump over to what you do once you've downloaded it. So once you've downloaded it, you'll see something like this. And at the bottom, you can see how to mint the Rabi Desktop Genesis NFT. The first thing you wanna do is add a dApp. And so it actually makes it easy for you because it actually gives you some that you can select. I'm going to select Aave just because I use it for a lot of things. Aave is an open source liquidity protocol and you can just click add, add it, and then click open. Okay, you can exit out of it quickly and then jump back. And so now you can quickly access the Aave dApp within the Rabi wallet desktop. Next thing you wanna do is share it on Twitter. You can just click tweet. Once you've shared it on Twitter, you can go here and click mint. Here's your Rabi mint fee and it's free. Here's your Zora mint fee and you just click mint. Now this is done on the Ethereum blockchain. So depending on the time of day that you do it, it can get a little bit expensive. So you're gonna to wanna to connect and here's where it can get a little tricky. So you're going to want to connect your MetaMask mobile wallet here. And the way you do that is by downloading the MetaMask wallet and then scanning this QR code with it. And just like that, it'll sign you in. Once you're connected, it'll say scan successful, waiting to be confirmed. You have to connect with it on your phone. And once it's connected, it'll allow you to begin signing process. It'll send it over to your phone. And then from here, you can confirm or reject it. I've already minted this on a different wallet and Ethereum fees can be kind of expensive. Right now I'm looking at it and it's charging me $7 for this. Since I've already done it, I'm not really interested in doing it again. So I'm going to hit reject and you can see how it's automatically rejected here. If you're interested in more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out this video here where I cover the next biggest airdrop coming soon. Thanks, I'll see you on the next one.